Well, today let's continue our conversation about photos. So I have over 600 on this phone, I have over 5,000 on this phone, my old phone, and about 2,000 on this phone. What do we do with them all? So I'm gonna show you what works for us, my really simple two-piece solution coming up next. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and our family enjoys sharing about our minimalist lifestyle, highly simplified lifestyle, and last week we started talking about photos and physical photos. So what to do if you have these random boxes of photos, half-filled photo albums, packets of photos still, so I'll link to that video down below. But today I want to talk about digital photos, whether they're on our computer or on our cell phone. We all have lots and lots and lots of these, right? And I was, I mentioned before, I have, uh, between all of my phones, I have over 7,000 photos that I haven't done anything with. And so what do we do with them? And I know there are other videos out there about what other people do. I know what organized people do, but those systems have not always worked for me. So today I just wanna share how I am managing digital photos. Now it might not be the best for everybody, but um, if other systems haven't worked for you, if you're not highly organized, if you're not good at staying on top of things, then this might work well for you too, because that's me. So when we had the chance to visit with Joshua Becker a few months back, he talked about how his wife makes a yearbook for each year out of their digital photos. I think that is so cool. I would love it if somebody did that for me because me, myself, I'm not organized enough to do that, especially at the end of the year when things are busy with the holidays and everything. I wouldn't stay on top of that. I wouldn't be good at getting photos from Tom's phone or other family members to collaborate on it. And I don't like the time that it takes to arrange those photo books. I know they're getting quicker, but my last experience with them is that they're very tedious to compile. And so what I've started doing for our family is using chat books. So what I like about chat books is that you can set it up so that it either pulls from your favorite photos, Instagram, or Facebook, and anytime you have 60 new photos or save to your favorite photos on your phone, so it won't use every photo, that it alerts you, and then it'll tell you when a book is ready. You can go through and approve or change any of the photos, and then it mails you a book. And so uh, to get started, it's around $10 a book, but I've been getting coupon codes in my email now since I've signed up, which would make the books under $7, and they hold 60 photos. And so this is something we've just started trying out, but so far I love it because like I said, it's automated. I don't have to do anything. It alerts me. I get a notification on my screen when I have 60 photos. So then we can print it out. It comes in the mail. It's really easy. And for us, it's fairly affordable. So then the second part though, is then we need to get the photos off of our phone because we end up with thousands of photos. Isn't it great? They keep making the phones bigger and then we can store even more photos. So we literally end up with thousands of photos on our phone. And so the second part of this is how we're going to store them. We could use Dropbox, we could use iPhotos, the cloud, Google photos, whatever. But for myself, what I've decided is that I don't necessarily want to rely on the different cloud forms of storage um, because sometimes they cost money once you start exceeding the free limits and really somebody else has control over where I'm storing my photos. It's convenient, right? It's very convenient. The other thing I've noticed with the cloud storage is that I'm more apt to just keep every photo. I just, you know, hit it, upload them all, and it is what it is. And then I never go back through all those photos because like we've talked about before, every photo we keep, whether it's digital or physical, is still something that we have to manage. So even just knowing I have thousands of pictures in the cloud is kind of stressful to me. So then for our family, what I've decided to do is just use an external hard drive. Again, this is just what works for us. Not everybody would feel comfortable with this, but this is a two terabyte external hard drive. You can get it for around $50 on Amazon. I'll link to it down below. But what I like about it is it's it's really not very big. This could hold up to, depending on the photo size, between a half million and two million photos. So this should last us for quite a while. And then we can also throw it in our safe so that it's fireproof. Hard drives, external hard drives are also nice because they're fairly easy to restore data from. So even if it would become corrupt, if it would somehow get damaged, if you would take it to somebody, most likely they'd still be able to retrieve all of the photos off of it. So that's the other nice thing about external hard drives is um, they're fairly reliable. Reliable. So this is what I've started putting all of our pictures on and I just have one dedicated for photos The other thing I like about it is that then we slide Tom's photos onto here as well And so we're both trying to be more diligent Like I said whenever we have a little downtime just go 
going through our photos, clearing them out quick, and then every once in a while, downloading them onto here, clearing them off of our phone so that we know that we're up to date. One other solution that we have used in the past, if you want to print your photos, is Amazon Photos. And so after our trip to Disney World a year and a half ago, we wanted to make little photo albums for each of the kids so they could have their own photo albums. Again, you could do that through chat books now, and probably moving forward, I would have just made it through here. They're also coming out with a mini version. It's a little bit, it's a little bit smaller and holds 30 photos, and they're only five dollars. So that would be great to print for kids too, because we didn't want the kids to have a little photo album that they could take to school. They could show other family members when they were over. So we used Amazon Photos to print them. The quality was great. They're nine cents a photo. It's really easy to install the app on your phone, so you can again just really easily select which photos that you want to print, upload them, and then they just get mailed to you. So that worked out really well too if you do want to print photos or you know sometimes we'll still print a few photos to send to my grandma in the mail or to other family members and so if you do still want to print your photos and create traditional photo albums then that has worked really well for us as well and I'll put a link to that down below too. So for me this is the easiest solution that I found so far. I don't think there's any solution that's gonna like do it for you unfortunately it still does take a little bit of legwork but for me I really like that it's just kind of automated I don't have to think about it so I'll link to this down below this is not sponsored I, it's not an affiliate link it's just my honest review of this product but I think the other thing I'm learning as we've simplified life is that I don't need to archive every minute of our children's life and that I don't need to have 60 pictures per event. You know, at the time when we went to Disney World for the first time, it felt like such a big deal, right? Or our child's first birthday party. But then what happens? Other big things come up. Then, you know, we took a, a vacation to Arizona this past winter, and that was really great too. But I found that I only need like four or five pictures to remember it by, and that's plenty. So I really cut back on the number of pictures that we take. And I also just wanna be present in the moment and not always trying to get the perfect photo. So I don't really worry now if not, you know, every one of the kids is smiling in a picture or if the lighting's not quite perfect or anything like that. I just try and, you know, snap a picture to give a feel for what was going on at the time, not take too many, and really that's actually all we need to remember it by. So I've kind of lowered my standards a little bit, try and take less photos, and that creates less inventory to manage. So that's been working out pretty well for us. All right, well, as always, I would love to know how you handle digital photos because, oh my, does it get overwhelming. They're just so easy to take now, right? And so, and our kids are super cute, so we wanna take lots of photos. If you've used chat books, please tell us too, like what's been your experience? Do you like them? So far, I think they're really cool, but I would love to know what your experience has been with them as well. So please share that down below. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us. I hope you subscribe so that we can keep in touch, and I will look forward to visiting with you again soon.